Yeah, um, I mean, masculinity in, I guess I'll say broadly culture, um, is presented either as uh, completely absent um, or as abusive, right? Um, I think, again, I actually kind of like the show for other reasons, but Sons of Anarchy, right? That's sort of the motorcycle gang, we're beating up people, we're, um, we are abusive, right? And this is what it means to be masculine because we're tall, we're blonde, and we have big muscles. And I think, yeah, no, um, that is never in the history of the world been uh, the definition of masculine. Um, sometimes some of that's been part of it, right? Um, to be strong, to be capable, that type of thing has been part of it, but it's never been it. Um, sometimes that's varied from culture to culture. Sometimes it meant being very well read and very academic. Sometimes it meant being a warrior. Um, but it never meant being just abusive um, and being just a jerk, you know? And, and where does it come from that's presented like that? Uh, because I really think we live in a polarized age. Um, I don't think you have many examples of a masculine that is strong, um, but strong through sort of the, the willingness to expose oneself enough to forgive and be forgiven. Um, capable, but capable because they know that all those things that they're incapable of, their salvation, right? Their, their, the sustenance of their own life is taken care of by God's grace and God's providence. Um, that doesn't exist really in culture. What does exist is uh, anti-masculine, homosexual, um, completely incapable, couch potato, let mom do it all, or biker gang. Um, that's all we see. And because we see those poles, most people gravitate towards the homosexual, kind little couch potato sitting on the table really not causing any trouble. And that's unfortunate. Um, I don't want people to gravitate towards the biker gang either. But I want them to realize that probably most of the men they meet in their lives are somewhere in between those two spectrums. And that just because what we see on TV or in the movies portrays either over here or over here, that's sort of what we got locked in our head. Um, but really, most of the men you've probably met in your life are somewhere in this middle section here. Some maybe gravitate more towards the biker gang, some maybe gravitate more towards the couch potato, but they're in the middle somewhere. They're probably kind. Um, they're probably gracious. They probably want to do things for you because they tend to be like fixer type people. They probably want to be useful, not told they're useless, but they probably don't want to abuse you um, or be a jerk to you. Um, and I think focusing on those men that we know and propagating that idea amongst those men that they are useful that you do need them, that we do need them, that society needs them, that family needs them, that women need them and want them, you know, will then make that middle section grow, which is what we need.